Okay, folks, I'm not great at public speaking. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of a chat with you, as if I know everybody. And hopefully, at the end of the night, over a few drinks at the bar, I will know everybody. Oh. I'm also going to break the tradition a wee bit. So there's going to be a few toasts along the way. But please don't stand up, just keep seated. But keep your glasses charged. There are, however, a few formalities that I have to go through. And first is to thank everyone for coming. So, for coming along today to share Jennifer Stewart's wedding day. I think it's a testament to the popularity that so many of you guys have taken holidays and made the effort to be here. There are a few friends, however, have went above and beyond to be here, and that's Rich and Carol and Nick and Lisa, who have come all the way from America. So the first toast, the Americans! To the Americans! <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, great formality. It would be rude for me to stand here, no mention Stuart. <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> send your salvation, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'd like to welcome Stuart to our family. There's not many of us, but you're welcome. I know three really important things about Stuart, and I'm going to tell you what I know, and in no particular order, okay? <laughs> That's really important. Number one, I know that he really loves Jennifer. Oh. Oh. That's really important, because so do we. Oh. Number two, I don't know anybody else who puts in the same amount of hours at his work as Stuart does. His work ethic is second to none. And third, he supports Glasgow Rangers. Ladies and gentlemen, there seem to be a few people in here with sore arms that can't raise them up. <laughs> Mr. McCall, <laughs> Mrs. Samson, I hope you get better soon. When I was researching this, I had a look in Google to see what I was supposed to say. So I was on there looking about, and I'm thinking nothing actually fits for Jennifer. So you know what you do when you can't get it to Google? It's your mum. <laughs> <laughs> so Susan suggested starting with the academic qualifications. Now I don't want to make light of this, but I don't want to dwell on it because we could be here for hours. <laughs> so, very quickly, Heathfield Primary School, Presswick Secondary School, University of Stirling, a year in Guelph in Canada, back to Stirling to finish a degree, no job. Go to Strathclyde Uni, another degree, teacher. There must be some teachers here, is there? Yeah. Yeah. The teachers! Yeah. <laughs> the teachers! Stevie. Too much money, Stevie. Ever since Jennifer was small, we've always dragged her along in our adventures. We've climbed the Sydney Harbour Bridge, we've scuba dived in the Barrier Reef, we left in the block with the Barrier Reef, and the rest of the dive team decided it was a bit too deep and bolted for the surface, so we just sat and played with the fish. We've sailed in America's Cup Yacht in New Zealand and we've brought in New Year in Rarotonga in the South Pacific and climbed Mayan ruins in Mexico. But some of the best memories are just splashing about the water and building sandcastles, filling the moat with water again and again <laughs> and again. <laughs> when I was writing the list, it started getting into about two or three pages. And it looked like some of a Thomas Cook brochure. <laughs> Time for another toast. Thomas Cook! <laughs> Thomas Cook! <laughs> I think what I'm trying to say here is that if you've got kids, or even somebody else's kids, or grandkids, give them a cuddle, tell them you love them, and make some adventures. Because they'll not last forever, but the memories will. Now, another one of your mum's suggestions was to give me some advice. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that. If you have heard of it now, it's no worth, no worth saying. But what I will say is the way that both of you have conducted yourselves in the past few months, maybe you should give me the advice. Okay. So, Jennifer. <laughs> 
You make us proud every single day. It's been an honour and a privilege to watch you grow up with all the skint knees and lost teeth. <laughs> you've become a confident, intelligent, selfless, fantastic person. We love you to bits, even more than chocolate. <laughs> so, the last toast from me, folks. Jennifer and Butch. Sorry. Jennifer and Butch. Jennifer and Butch. Enjoy yourself.